We want to see them saying sorry in front of the communities and then maybe we can be healed. But immediately after people died in Marikana, we issued civil suits both against loanmen and against government for that they must pay reparations and they must also apologize. Loanmen has not moved an inch. It, is, it has dug its heels in and says that it is not liable for the murders, for the injuries, as well as for the uh, arrest of the people. The company the government, the police, all the people of Marikana, an apology. We also demanded that there should be reparations. That has not happened to date. The main customer of uh, Lonmin, it's the German chemical company BASF. Every year, BASF purchases platinum, palladium and rhodium worth 600 million euros. This makes BSF Lonmin's most important customer. Being part of the supply chain may, means that the company has to take responsibility. Where do the minerals or metals come from? Under what circumstances do miners work in the shafts? Are they safe? Does the company pay the workers a living wage? There is a talk of Lonmin being bought by Sibanye and still water. We're raising questions, which are moral questions. What is going to happen to the miners, the workers who depend solely on the income that they get from the work? At eight o'clock in the morning, a senior police officer rang the mortuary at Maracana and ordered four mortuary vans, each van capable of holding eight bodies. That was done because they knew what was going to happen in the afternoon. A separate police officer rang the stores and supplies and ordered another 4,000 rounds of machine gun ammunition because they knew what was going to happen at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. These men were killed in the name of profit. Bear that in mind. These are the names of people who sacrificed their lives for a living wage. My police, my dear. Julius Tokoti. Magdolchua Telank Mohai Tembelike Mati Tabiso Musebetane Canare Elias Munosa Those of us who are going into the AGM are going to go in now. So those of you who are going to be remaining out here, please support our friends from South Africa by making a, your presence felt and heard. It's a private meeting. It's a private meeting. It's all tricky. They always try to avoid the answering the questions and give a general statement to it. All we heard this morning are excuses and excuses and excuses. We want the reparations to be paid to the widows. And the, and the mine workers that were injured during the, the massacre. And also we want Lonmin to take a full responsibility. They didn't go there to die. 
they went to the mountain to negotiate a living wage and better living conditions. And they met their death. And so we are here to remind lone men that their hands, that their balance sheet is written in the blood of these men and women who died on that day. The truth must come out. And lone men, together with the political heavyweights that made sure that people are killed in Marikana come to account. Amanda, Abetu. Manza! Abetu. Manza! Abetu. Mamma, we mamma, we mamma. Mamma, we. We want justice. Mamma, we mamma, we mamma.